Can you state flatly that neither the Trump administration nor the Trump campaign has received any information from foreign groups, foreign nationals about either Joe Biden or his family? And can you state flatly that neither the administration nor the campaign will accept foreign assistance? Chris, that's a silly question. I mean, the folks who have actually taken foreign assistance were the Clinton campaign four years ago. I mean, that entire shady dossier they put together was from a British spy. Uh, no, we're going to go and beat Joe Biden uh, fair and square here. Absolutely. But I think you should have asked the same question to do of his prospective running mates and Senator Duckworth and Karen Bass, because just as we saw four years ago, it was the Democrats who took foreign assistance. But can you flatly state that the Trump campaign and the administration will not accept foreign assistance this time? Chris, I said that's an absolutely silly question. Uh, we're going to go and win this race fair and square. I'm just asking for, and it's a, I'm asking for an to, answer. Uh, it's, a, it's a yes or no question, Jason. Uh, Chris, there is no foreign assistance that's happening in this campaign, but I would ask you to make sure that the Democrats aren't going to do what they tried to pull four years ago, because that's exactly, they're going to try to find every possible way uh, to cheat and steal this election, 100%. Three times. Trump advisor Jason Miller was asked three times whether the Trump administration or campaign would accept foreign assistance in this election, and three times he refuses to say no. He does, however, manage to bring up who else but the Clintons. So if you had blame Hillary within four seconds of talking on your bingo card, then congratulations. By the way, the logic is completely flawed, because think about it. If, by Jason Miller's own claim, it was so bad that Hillary Clinton supposedly put together a dossier from a British spy, which she didn't and I'll get to that, then why not simply say that accepting foreign assistance in the election is bad? It's bad enough for Miller to use it to attack Clinton, and yet in the same breath, refuses to say whether the campaign that he's working on would do the same. I'm not saying there's a double standard, but yeah, no, there's a double standard. By the way, I do want to mention that the Steele dossier wasn't a democratic effort to use foreign assistance. Fusion GPS, the US firm that was hired to provide opposition research on Trump, was contracted by the conservative political website, the Washington Free Beacon. The Clinton campaign then hired that firm separately six months later, and Fusion GPS subcontracted Steele's firm in the UK to compile the dossier without the DNC knowing that they'd subcontracted foreigners. Christopher Steele himself also said that he didn't know the Clinton campaign was the recipient of his research when he began his work. But none of that is going to stop Trump administration officials from lying to create a false equivalency. But getting back to Chris Wallace's question, it's telling that the only time that Jason Miller even comes close to answering here is when he says there is no foreign assistance that's happening in this campaign. Not that they won't accept it, just that it's not happening. And that should tell you everything you need to know. That the Trump campaign is so blatantly unwilling to disavow foreign assistance that they physically cannot bring themselves to say that they will not accept foreign help. And by the way, it's not just Jason Miller. Even during his testimony for Congress, it took Bill Barr, the Attorney General of the United States, America's top law enforcement officer, 16 seconds to be able to even utter the words just that it's inappropriate to accept foreign help in an election. Is it ever appropriate, sir, for the president to solicit or accept foreign assistance in an election? It depends what kind of assistance. Is it ever appropriate for the president or presidential candidate to accept or solicit foreign assistance of any kind in his or her election? No, it's not appropriate. Okay, I'm glad. sorry you had to struggle with that one, Mr. Attorney General. So that we're clear, it is illegal. And the fact that it took Bill Barr all that time to concede that much should be all the proof you need that this campaign has zero interest in following the law when it comes to accepting foreign help. If they weren't relying on it, they would have zero problem disavowing it. With all of that said, we don't need to hear people like Jason Miller or Bill Barr fumble over themselves to disavow foreign help to know that this administration is more than willing to accept it. Trump was impeached for seeking dirt on Joe Biden from Ukraine. He was the subject of a two-year investigation by Robert Mueller outlining the ways his campaign cooperated with Russia to interfere in the 2016 election. Trump just commuted the sentence of Roger Stone, who acted as an intermediary between the Trump campaign and WikiLeaks when WikiLeaks was releasing emails that Russia stole from the DNC 
Nancy and Hillary's campaign manager in a hack. And just days ago, we found out that the Trump appointed US ambassador to Brazil had asked Brazilian officials to lower ethanol tariffs to help Trump's reelection chances. When corresponding with Brazilian officials, the ambassador literally said that it was important for their quote, government to do the US a favor. He literally used the word favor. Now where have we heard that word before? So look, whether it's Jason Miller or Bill Barr or Trump himself, we already know that these people will say whatever they need to say to skate by and that they're not going to let anything like shame or the law get in the way of doing whatever is humanly possible to get Trump reelected. The only difference now is that we know Trump is going to cheat and that whatever scheme he cooks up isn't going to have the impact that they think it will. And don't forget to listen to my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, where I'll take a deep dive into the biggest issues of the week and interview major players in the world of politics, like Adam Schiff, Nancy Pelosi, Beto O'Rourke, Eric Swalwell, Katie Porter, and many more. Again, that's No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, available anywhere you listen to podcasts.